Hello and welcome to the Advent of Indies for December 13th. Today's developer is Jonas Kairatzis. He's a writer, game designer, filmmaker, creator of the Infinite Ocean, Alpha Land, The Sea Will Claim, Claim Everything, and other games. Caution may contain socialism. Freebie game today is The Fabulous Screech. Your partner has bought you a ticket for the season's last performance, but The Fabulous Screech and his trained humans, so you travel to Oddness Standing to see this unique show. Not quite sure what to expect from this. I gather it's a fairly short title. I don't know exactly how to shout it. might be the sort of thing we might be able to finish in one setting again. Uh, find out in a moment, I suspect. Today's freebie, uh, not freebie, uh, today's premium title is The Sea Will Claim Everything, which appears to be a rather neat little hand drawn style point and click adventure, which seems to. I have a feeling that's where the socialism thing comes into play. A portal to the Fortunate Isles where the sinister Lord Urizen is using the debt crisis to impose his will on the people and where the ancient biotechnological dwelling called the Underhome is facing foreclosure. Uh, available for $10 on Steam with a demo available. So you can go have a look at that, see what you think of that. And there are 10 copies up for grabs if you enter the daily competition over at adventofindies.com. But what we're actually going to have a look at now is the fabulous Screech. I appear to have an invitation here. I've been invited to the fantastically flamboyant final performance of the fabulous Screech and his trained humans. The Mountains of Oddness. Let's have a look. Celebrate the anniversary, got on a ticket to the show we've always wanted to see. I've heard many times there's nothing quite like it. The last ticket for the last performance of the season must have been very expensive. Might have been wiser to save up. What is life without a little, little without a little entertainment after all? Indeed. Let's find out how entertaining this is. Strange gnome and I don't know what that is. The strange gnome's assistant is uh, an octopus lady thing. I don't know. Okay, so it's all point and click. Same sort of style as the seal claim everything appears to be. Talk about the show. Okay. I think there's going to be a lot of talking in this game. I'm not sure whether to read it out. I know some people like Let's Players to read everything out and some people don't, so I don't know whether to or not. Let's just try and make as much progress as possible. We may enter. Show will begin as soon as you do. Okay. You're waiting on me. Let's talk to the bird. A vast human. Ah! I'm a show parrot now. Good. Okay. Oh, the parrot's name is Ah. Good name for parrot. Yep. And the cat's a parrot. A pirate. Hmm. Right. Well, I can I can get into a pirate game. Pirate games are good. I like that. I suppose I should read this because it's all reading. Once upon a time there was a tiny kitten called Screech. He was the poorest kitten in all the world because he had no home and no toys to play with. All alone he wandered the world with no one to take care of him. One day he accidentally wandered to a strange windy place called Heaven and this is where you first met him, sitting all frightened and alone before some deity's door. Outside Heaven. It's a leaf. Probably fallen off some religious branch or other. There's a snail. Let's talk to the snail. Yeah, what's up? Gast Gastron the snail. Yes, I'm a snail. I carry my home on my back and I've got eyes on stalks. I'm very proud of my heritage, you should know. I do indeed know the secret word you seek. I didn't know I was seeking a secret word. 
as I'm not willing to relinquish that knowledge without recompense. I shall require a leaf. Yes, indeed. Give me a leaf and the word is yours. I've seen a leaf. I'll have the leaf. Have a leaf. Ah, leaf. Such a beautiful leaf. Such a delicious, delectable, desirable leaf. Where could such a leaf have been found? Such a glorious leaf. A leaf beyond comparison. A brilliant leaf. A pulchritudinous leaf. Uh, oh, the password. Right, it's Bob. Name of God's old mentor. Just think it as you walk towards the door and it'll let you in. We'll talk to Screech. He says, meow. Screech is very tiny. He does not have a home. Screech doesn't like dogs. Dogs aren't nice. They chase Screech and bark at him. Are you nice? Pet Screech. Prrr. Screech is very sad. He has a very big head, but he doesn't have a hat, and so it rains on Screech, and he gets cold and shivers. If Screech had a hat, he wouldn't get cold. Where can Screech find a hat? Have a look at the window. The room seems to be empty. God is probably out at the moment. Let's have a look inside God's living room. Uh, what is that word? These flowers are debating homos... Home... I'm not, I, I can't say that word. Homoeusianism? What? No, what is that? That's one to look up because I don't know what that is. Have a look at the book. First draft of the Bible, the one with less gore. It's rejected by publishers being too philosophical for modern audiences. A dead end. Very good. God's bunny slippers. A holy umbrella. Even God has trouble predicting the weather. God's fake beard. Season's greetings from the Easter Bunny. Remember that today is the first day of the rest of eternity, Krishna. Box contains a Ouija board. It's where God keeps his collection of black exploitation movies. <laughs> Amazing. Box is bigger on the inside. It contains a TARDIS, which in turn contains another box just like it, with another TARDIS inside. God is a bit of a Whovian. This box contains a surprisingly good portal. Excuse me? Lady Bum Tickler's Revels by John Camden Hotton. Okay. How to gerbilize things. What am, what am I looking for here? I'm just reading the name of God's books now. What's in the picture? Emperor Palpatine, or Pope Benedict. <laughs> God's magic wand, God's golden crown. Oh, I found God's hat. I will give God's hat to the cat. This is almost reading like a Dr. Seuss book now. Hatter, 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 etc, etc. Screech can has a hat. Yes, you can has hat. Can I talk to you about help now? Screech has a hat now, but he doesn't have anything to play with. Oh, if he could have something to play with, he would be so happy. He would play and play and play and keep his toy in his hat and put his hat on his head, and it would be funny. Okay, let's find you a toy. Uh, what's... Um... Something of God's that was a toy, presumably. I already stole his hat. God's pillow is slightly warm. Great Book of Nymphomaniac Nymphs by Pan Books. Um, do I need to find a toy somewhere else? Does every single one of these books have a different title? Oh my god, that's attention to detail. Dining in Morrowind, amazing. Uh, I've been through everything. God doesn't have any toys. God doesn't like to play. You there, snail. No. Can you not tell me where to find a toy? There isn't... A Navi carpet made out of traditional Navi. Okay. Uh, there, there is nothing in here, is there? Is there anywhere else I can go? No. Hmm. Is 
something incredibly mysterious about the stone, but you'll never find out what it is. Okay. Secret silly Easter eggs, I guess. Nah, I'm running out of things that could possibly be a toy to give to the cat. What's in the little blue box? Ah! A cat toy! Hooray! That was tucked away quite well. Give him a fish. Fish! A fish! Screech exclaimed. A fish! My fish! My fishy! Screech has a fishy! Joyfully, he danced around the toy, picking it up with his paws, throwing it into the air and catching it with his mouth. He lunged at it, somersaulted over it, fell to his side and hugged it to himself. It was some time before Screech, exhausted from playing with the best toy in the world, curled up under his hat and fell asleep. Gently, you carried him away from heaven before God returned and found out someone had been stealing from him. Knowing that he was safe, though wishing that you could be there when he woke up to play again, you began to fade away from this time and place. It's dark again. Time blows past you like a wind. The circus is nowhere near you. Minutes, hours, days, months, years. They all rush by until you find yourself sinking into another part of the story. This was one of the fabulous Screech's greatest adventures. All alone, he had descended into hell, avoiding many traps and dangers to stand before the Devil's Castle and woo the one known as Basement Cat. But here, only a step away from the greatest conquest of his life, he faced a near impossible challenge. There appeared to be no way for him to open this fiendish door. Who could be brave and talented enough to help him in this quest? Oh, he's got the hat on! That's amazing! And there's Basement Cat, presumably. Basement Cat seems quite eager for Screech to come inside. Hello, human! Yes, I am called the Fabulous Screech now. It's because of my hat, which is fabulous. It also contains a fish, which most hats cannot claim of themselves. With my hat and my fish I travel the world, always on the lookout for adventure. I've seen many things since last we met. Human, I have fought glorious battles, hunted, chased, jumped, and once I made a small piece of metal fall from a table. That was good. Ah, doors, bait of my life. He said the devil himself invented them, did you know that? I shouldn't be surprised if he did. I crossed lakes of burning lava, jumped across infinite chasms to get here, but who could have expected a door? Basement Cat. We have been in communication for some time now, but this is our first private meeting. She awaits me inside. If only this demonic contraption can be defeated. Uh, open the door. Ah, magical key. That would make sense. Of course it would. Got some gravestones. Here lies Froloin the Unspeakable. Nothing more should be said about him. Beloved Sierra, 1979-1996. Tim was a man inside a large pan. We thought he was ham, so we ate him. With regret, the people of Shropshire. In this ditch lies Hitch, who loved to pitch his kitch, to, bit, to bewitch with his itch for murder. And there's a skull whose name is Herr Schädel. What are you doing down here? This is unacceptable. He has a German accent, it would seem. I like working here. It is a stable environment where rules are obeyed and punctuality is appreciated. If only every place was as quiet and orderly as my workplace. Perhaps this is something to work on, yes? My name is Herr Schädel. I am in charge of keeping everything in order. Ordnung around this graveyard. Or... I'm not going to say that word, I don't know that word, as I prefer to say in my language. I, I'm going to try and say that word. Zentral, as I prefer to say in my language. I have a copy of the key, but you cannot have it. It is strictly verboten. Wackashadel. Let's play Wackashadel. Okay. Crazy human. I'll never give you this key. Oh, I don't care. Here's Dain key. Now go away. <laughs> it's a fantastic game. <laughs> Ta-da! Doors open. Oh, the things that took place that day in hell. 
Eros himself could not have done better than the fabulous Screech in his prime. He was the greatest, the cutest, the strongest, the fastest, the bestest of all cats. Again you had to leave, but this time it was easier. Screech was no longer a kitten, and you were content not to witness these events in too much detail. This was Screech's love life, not your own. Once more everything is dark, you feel the presence of time. But now it does not rush by as before. The years pile on you now, weigh you down with their days, making you slow. Pleasant afternoons. Seems like a good place to leave this. I want to leave that there now. Because I don't want to spoil everything. This is quite a good story. I'm liking this. It's really, really, really simple, but it's a really nice game. I think that's well worth checking out. I think you should go play that for yourself, finish the story for yourself, and see it without my atrocious voice acting. And the less said about my German accent, the better. So yeah, that is The Fabulous Screech by Jonas Kairatzis. Assuming he drew that himself, interesting, he's got a bit of talent for drawing, it was a very charming style. I like that, and it's a good story. Quite entertaining. And don't forget to go enter the competition to try and win the seal so claim everything, and try out the demo, and if you like that, for a mere $10 you can play that one for yourself as well. So that has been December 13th on the advent of Indies. I shall see you again with something entirely different once more tomorrow. See you later.